Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Garcia. I'm a cardiothoracic anesthesiologist based in Los Angeles. As part of your procedure in the cath lab, you may receive a TEE or a transesophageal echocardiogram to examine the function and structure of your heart drainage procedure. This may be done under either general anesthesia or sedation. In the case of sedation, your physician will give you a relaxing medication through an IV as well as spray your throat with numbing medication. A TE is a procedure that uses ultrasound or sound waves to create moving pictures of your heart. The provider uses a long thin tube called an endoscope to carefully guide a small transducer down your throat and your esophagus or your food tube. The transducer is a device that makes sound waves. These sound waves bounce off different areas of your heart, making echoes. The transducer then sends these echoes to a computer and makes them into pictures. These pictures show the structure and function of your heart in great detail. This allows your physician to see how the heart valves are working, how the heart muscle is moving, as well as how the blood flow is moving. In the case of patients with arrhythmias, such as atrial fibrillation, maybe on blood thinners, it also allows your physician to check for any blood clots in part of your heart before your procedure. After your echo, some people may have a sore throat, may last a few hours or up to three to five days. If it does not go away or it gets worse, call your physician. Some of the less common side effects may include minor bleeding in your esophagus, your irritation from the probe, and the seizure resolves on its own. Prior to your procedure, talk to your physician about your medical history. Some medical conditions that may make a TE uh, too risky to perform include esophageal cancer, gastritis, GERD, hiatal hernias, swine problems, as well as stomach cancer. Hope this video is helpful. Thank you.